Gabby. How old is? Finn. Eight. Yeah, we all said eight. But Sophie thinks he's seven. He's eight years old this year. No, he just turned eight. This year. 2019, he's eight. Just yeah, he, he, is, he is eight. He was born in the spring, he said. Can you use your corner then and take up more arena and he'll slow down a little bit? So let's lift our inside rein. Put our inside rein on. Push him out. Open your outside rein. Try not to lift your hands quite so high. Do all the corners like that one. Now open your right one like you're going to drag your knuckles down the wall. Thumbs on top, Sophie. Let's keep those hands a little quieter. We're going to get back into cantering and jumping. we got to work on keeping our upper body a little bit more still. He's got a lot of trot compared to horses you've ridden in the past. So you have to work a lot harder to keep your body quiet. You're going to take a look at these videos too and you're going to watch and see where you need to work on those hands, okay? Very happy with her. Remember? Change your eyes. As soon as your dad's out of the way, you're going to circle over those poles again, okay? Pull the front of your helmet down a little bit there, Gabby. Yeah. Sophie, we need to get your hair in a ponytail or a braid too, my dear. Get it tied back. I told you my life was beginning. The moment I saw you, I was winning. Already in love before you came. So what are you happy about with Stella? Her weight or her energy level or? She's quiet. She just has a calm aura about her today. You're gonna go over those poles and change directions this time. We're gonna really work on getting in our corners. That's kind of an important deal today. They're not happening. He's not listening to you. We got a little bit of a disconnect and we need to connect with that. So let's carry our hands a little quieter in front of us. And our job, see how we just come right off the rail there, so our job is to fix those little details before they happen. We're gonna try and be proactive instead of reactive. That means that we are going to try to keep him on the rail as opposed to put him back on the rail. So just keep him on the rail, keep him on the rail, keep him on the rail, keep him on the rail. That was better. Your job is to think, I want to go as deep into every one of these corners as possible. That was lovely. Every single corner, we're going to go into it. Shorten your reins, get your legs back underneath your bum. And slow yourselves down. Slow your posting. And picture yourself where you want to be. Do not let him make the decision. Five, six, seven. Slow your ride. 
you may need to half halt every other step. Which means if we shorten our reins and grip with our inner thighs, we'll be able to support our horse and our body better. This drop right here. Keep it. Squeeze your reins. Squeeze your reins. Squeeze your thighs and your reins. Squeeze your thighs and your reins. Again. Feel the difference? A little easier to ride when he's not going around like a crazy maniac, isn't it? The bond we hope would last in silence or in screaming noise. We're meant to be, there ain't no choice. I told you my life was beginning. The moment I saw you, I was. But you notice he's a little more relaxed, he's a little steadier, you're not having to fight with him. You have a balanced pride. He's going to be a little wonky down there because it is softer, that's fine. Just ride through it and battle it back. Good, they're working. We'll walk and change direction. Careful for those poles. you got to get closer to the corners if you're not going to hit the poles. Thank you. Put my leg, please. Half hold. Every other slide. Give him a little squeeze of your fingers, a little squeeze of your thighs. Yes, there you go. Saw you, I was winning. Already in love before you came in. Washed away the tears from yesterday. Come further up the wall here. Come further. Now begin your turn and aim for the other green pole. Feel the difference? I like that one much better. If we stick our hands straight out in front of us with our elbows straight like a Romney, our arms cannot go any further forward. Stay on your circle. We're not using the whole arena. We're just staying on our circle. Bend those elbows. Lift your hands. Bend and lift. Bend and lift. Bend and lift. Good. All right, canter your circle, please. Good girl, get back. You got it. It's harder for him because hearing is smaller. That's why it felt so funny. Mom's literally like dying. I don't want to. Ask for your canter again, please. Can I do You can do three or four steps at a time. Canter on. Good girl. Look up. Good, good, good. See how he's easier when he goes straight? Yeah. yeah, good. Good, give him your confidence. See, it's okay, Finn, we got this. We got this, little man. Good job. Which one? So, we the president in the corner. Good spot for it. Beautiful. It's getting smoother, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's hard for him to go smaller because our ring's already little. We got to stay on the outside of those poles. Try again. Outside of the pole. We can't turn quite so much. Kiss, kiss. There you go. Put your inside hand forward. Good girl. That's all right. You got really good balance now, so, so even though he's not steering right, you're staying with the horse. You're not wobbling left or right. He's kind of going everywhere. And you're like, yep, I'm going with you. After one more cannon. Get around. around the pole. Left ring. Left ring. Maybe you. Girl, kiss. Good job. Shoulders back. Look up. Get past this pole. Once you get past Stella, you can walk. Or we can stumble and not use all four of our feet. <laughs> it's like, it's cannon time. So, I don't know if. Thumbs on top, elbows. Now this time when you ask him to canter, you're going to sit back. Okay. Like what I said, sit down, sit back, and... Soft hands. Yeah. Hold on for dear life. 
Can her on. Good. Lean back. He says, well, if you're not going to steer, I'm not going to listen. So trot on. He would like to go hang out in that corner because that was a whole lot of fun doing nothing. You might have to poop. And canter. Good girl. Sit up and sit back. Push him in the corners, remember? Outside rain, not inside. We gotta steward the outside rain so we can keep him on the wall here for a little bit. There you go. How was your lesson? Awesome. How was cantering? Scary. Scary? He did really good though. Thin, tight, turned around the corner. And he's fat. He seems fast, doesn't he? And like I go like so, Finn's over here, and I'm going like you know, to try and like get in the room. Oh, that's cool. Anyways, he did good. Let's can her? Yeah. Let's can her. Let's your circle. And you can make this end of your circle a little bigger. Sophie's going to go back down and park behind the blue bucket or she's going to get run over. We should move. Like, we should move back. You're fine. <laughs> I don't want you to go to the end where you're safe. If you need to come up here, that's fine. Move back, Sam. If you cut in this corner, that's also fine. But you can go almost down to the blue and purple bucket. Go, 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 go! And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.